today I will be going over kind of you know the differences in changes between Helldivers 1 and 2. I'm gonna be going over what I learned more so and what I have in the first Helldivers. So I did play it a fair bit, but yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. All right, first things first, the cyborgs. I fucking hated these things in the first game. They were so annoying because in the first game they had these uh these, these little dogs that would come by and gnaw at your ankles and damn near insta kill you. It wasn't fun. That's a lie. It was fun. Also, the amount of anti-tank that you needed to bring just to get through, like I don't know, like a hazard eight fucking hell uh, hell diver mission was ridiculous. I look at that. I, I literally had a mech. I had a mech, and I was just instantly dead. Just gone. Deleted. They used to fucking laugh at you too, man. Like, they used to laugh at you. This shit used to hurt my fit, and that, that's a lie. <laughs> the cyborgs, man. The cyborgs, they, they were a struggle. I do like how they went from cyborgs to automatons, you know, from the first game to the second game. That, that is cool. I like that a lot. It's a cool change. Before we move on to the bugs, I just wanted to show this whole planetary chart system and just how different it is compared to the second game like it is I'm honestly not sure which one I prefer because the gameplay is so different going from the first to second one it's I, I don't even know now I know a lot of people haven't played Helldivers 1 which is why I'm still kind of showing the Helldivers 1 gameplay so much other than Helldivers 2 for comparison just so y'all can get a good look at just how it was considering it was top down it wasn't third person back then it was top down I do kind of wish they would have bring some of the perks from the first game to the second game. I mean, they already did. They brought them, they put them in the boosters, but some of them were just really, really nice. Like, there was one that boosted, not boosted, it reduced your cooldowns actually for your stratagems. And then there was another one that I ran all the time where you just ran faster. And it was, it, it was really good. It was really, really good. Another thing, supply, supply drops, they weren't team-wide like you actually have to equip them in your stratagems as you can see but you only got two I kind of preferred it that way I'm not gonna lie where you, it wasn't team-wide but I understand why they changed it I completely understand all right now we get to the fucking bugs now the bugs were my least favorite faction to fight in this game I'm not even gonna lie and it was solely due to one type of bug the tentacle fuckers. That that sounds wrong in the context. But let me explain. They, they they would literally dig into the ground, and then three tentacles would pop up, and they could body block you in a game like this. And there could be multiple in a game like this. And it was so annoying. Matter of fact, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip to it in the video. I'm just gonna skip to it just so y'all can see. It's not gonna be me dying, of course. I don't do that. Not in this game. That was, that was too good. <laughs> These. These bitch at I, I can't say that. Can I say that? I am black. I, I'm not gonna say that. But I hate these fucking things. These things are terrible. I hate them. I hate them. I almost called them man word. But I can say that. The amount of times me and my boys would be like, we'd be chilling in quotation marks since it's, it's tight. This this game did get pretty stressful. But we'd be chilling. Then boom, there'd be a, there'd be one that would come up. Then boom, there'd be a second one right behind us. And then boom, there'd be a third one to the right of us. And then there's just, like. What do we do? I'm honestly so glad these things aren't in the second game. They would, they would definitely be easier to deal with, considering you won't be able to get body blocked by them, but oh, oh, I am so glad they're not in the second game. Hated them. Capital H, hated them. There was also this, this, this objective type right here that I don't think I've ever completed once, except for the, in, in this gameplay. This is the first time, but every, every time we got to it, it would always get destroyed because one of us would have to go off screen because there'd be some tentacle fucker just in the background just trying to whip us like we're I'm not saying that but you, you know what I mean another bug that I didn't like that I still don't like in the second game was the stalkers they have gotten buffed in the second game they weren't nearly as bad in the first game I mean you, it was a little bit harder to see them but they weren't nearly as bad in the first game as they are in this game still fun though I almost forgot about my baby the piss gun. This this gun. Ooh. Damn, that sounded weird. Uh, listening back to that, the, the, this gun right here, it was it was so good against bugs, especially melted down the tentacle fuckers. It was so good against them. 
you could literally just spray into this a crowd and it would work because it was not only would it slow them it was acidic so it would damage them over time so you can just turn around just spray and pray literally then you'll just run away just like that they were it was so good against slugs i kind of miss it i'm not even gonna lie like i was skimming through the, the footage i mean look at this man Imagine if we had this in the second game. He's just walking towards me. He can't do shit. Imagine if we can deal with the charges like this. They can't do anything. Literally nothing. I miss it. I want it back. Please. Please, Arrowhead. <laughs> Alright. Now, even though I don't have gameplay of this, I am going to talk about it. The Railgun. I just realized there's not too much to say about the Railgun in the first game. It, it was a primary weapon in the first game. It wasn't nearly as strong. Uh, I think the most it could do was stun things. And that was when it was fully upgraded. Don't get me wrong, it was still really good. But it wasn't, it's not nearly as good as it is in the second game. But it did get nerfed <laughs> in the second game. <laughs> Alright, now we move on to my favorite faction. But also, kind of the most annoying. The Illuminates. The amount of times I've gotten cut in half by a random shield generator. Go, go look it up, go look it up after this video. Go, go look it up. You can watch somebody get cut in half by a random shield generator or fucking snipe. It gets crazy. Now, the only reason I say look it up after is because when I got the gameplay for this, I was playing on the bitch made difficulty because I'm not playing on the higher difficulties on myself. Y'all saw what happened with the Borgs on, on the first part. I'm not doing that, especially against these guys. No, no, not going to happen. Mainly because they can legit trap you in the shields. Like, there could be two of them. And they could they could kind of cut you off from certain areas. Like I I had times where me and my boys were fighting, we get cut off, then we'd have to go back to back, you know, on the shield, just gunning down a bunch of them. It got it got crazy. Also, the little like little I guess normal guys they had they had shields. They weren't too hard to deal with, but if they were to bring them, if the Illuminates do actually come to the second game. Which, I don't think the community is ready for I'm not gonna lie, I do not think the community is ready for But if they do come to the second game, uh, it's... It's about to get tragic. The reason I say the community is not ready... Is just, uh... The, 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 look at Malevolent Creek, man. Nah, we, we haven't even... We have been fighting there... For... A couple weeks now, we haven't even gotten close. We've gotten halfway to capturing it, we haven't even gotten close. I don't even want to know what the Illuminates are gonna do. Ay ay ay. Another enemy of the Illuminates that I actually kind of forgot about was the, the Invisiboys. You know, they were kind of like the stalkers in the sense that they could go invisible, but I don't remember whether or not they'll just snipe you or they'll stab you in the back. Either way, it it was kind of fun, but it wasn't fun seeing one of my friends get JFK'd right in front of me. I'm not even lying. I was kind of out of pocket, but the, the, the shit was traumatizing. <laughs> now, my friends. We go into a little bit of a deep dive, that's a lie, kind of like a shallow dive into the, the, the perks and the stratagems. There, there were a lot. There were a lot of stratagems. Now, as you can see, my friend, th these are the perks. So there were a lot of perks. The perks were essentially like boosters in the second game, but if you'll give it a second, I might, I might just cut to it. Uh, stratagems, there were a fuck ton. Yeah, in the first game, you literally had to find research points, you know, like the little samples that we have to collect on this, in the second game. You have to find them in order to upgrade each and every one of them, or not each and every one of them, just the ones you preferred. And you also have to upgrade resupply, which was... I'm not sure if I like that, but it is what it is. Now, as far as I can remember, the upgrades didn't really do anything too crazy. It's just like extra ammo or stuff like that, more armor on the vehicles. I missed my tank. I hope they had it back in Helldivers too, but... They, they didn't... They didn't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, the Tesla Tower. Oh, they... They, they butchered it. They, they, they butchered it in the second game, man. It's nowhere near as good as it was in the first. It used... The Tesla Tower was borderline fucking overpowered in the, in the first game. It was stupid crazy. To give you an example, you could place it on one side of extraction and just not have to worry about, for, worry about it for the rest of just the time that extraction was arriving. You could literally just leave it there and look the other way. It, it got it out of your back. It'd be just done. It was very nice. I miss it. Now, actually, if you were to place a Tesla Tower, like, on a hill, or just on a cliff, and nothing can get to it, then it's almost as strong as it used to be, but it's still really only strong against bugs and nothing else. 
Also, last thing, the drip in this game. It was purely cosmetic. It did not have anything to do with gameplay. I fucking love that hat right there. That that ceremonial hat, that was my shit. But it was purely, purely cosmetic. Which I kind of liked more. Kind of, a little bit, but I also completely understand them wanting to change it up considering how much they changed going from first to second. I don't think this game would have been nearly as successful as it is if it stayed top down. Because times have changed. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh if you enjoyed, you, you know what to do. I still feel self-conscious saying it, so I'm not going to say it, but you, you know what to do. I don't, I don't need to say it. Y'all have been on this platform long enough. I'm not going to bait you. Also, you know, I got a yeah, Fortnite video coming, coming soon, and I'm going to pour way too much time into for some fucking reason. I, I don't know why I do this.